Now, the governor also said that South Florida was test, has a testing rate one in every 85, which was stronger than South Korea's gold standard. The governor said the gold standard of South Korea testing one out of every 200 people. I'm 61. I just started with my symptoms not too long ago, and I haven't been able to, you know, get tested before this. Hard Rock Stadium has been a testing site for several weeks, but for the first time, adults of any age, even if they are asymptomatic, can get testing. The more relaxed uh, testing requirements were announced today. Yeah, the testing site reached its exam capacity in just a matter of hours. CBS 4's Peter Dench is in Miami Gardens, where he spoke to some people thankful to get tested. Hard Rock Stadium is where you can go if you've experienced symptoms or if you've been exposed to someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. There were long lines here when the site opened at 9 in the morning, in part because appointments were not required. Only 400 exams a day are being done. I just started with my symptoms not too long ago, and I haven't been able to, you know, get tested before this. Eliana was among many showing up early at Hard Rock Stadium where more people were able to get tested for the coronavirus as the state has relaxed its testing requirements. My son uh, works for Amazon okay. and so there have been a number of people that have, have been ill and so just out of an abundance of caution we're we're checking them out now that it's open to the public. Now those who have symptoms or who have been exposed to someone who's positive can be tested here, along with those with underlying conditions. Initially, Hard Rock Stadium was reserved for seniors with symptoms and first responders. Since the federal government is no longer involved with drive through testing, the state has more freedom. Once we hit uh, 215,000 tests, which we think we will uh, later this week, uh, that'll be one test result for every 100 Floridians. Some wish testing requirements had been relaxed sooner. I don't think it's fair to the public and only testing such a small percentage of people. If you bring a child, you must be a parent or legal guardian with paperwork. Expect a backup since no appointment is needed. I don't know what to say because it was very hard for me to. I went through a very hard time, but thank God I was at home. A worried Angela Mohammed had quarantined herself at home for more than three weeks after testing positive for COVID-19. This was her second test. I'm so thankful that I feel very good and I, I fight with it. And I wish, you know, everybody can do it. If I could it, they can do it. Mohammed prays this time her tests for the coronavirus will have negative results. I think it's very important for us to come together and pray and say thank you because we're still alive. Anyone from Miami-Dade, Broward or Monroe can get tested. The Florida Department of Health should have test results within five days. To find out much more about the testing sites, go to our website, cbsmiami.com slash coronavirus. In Miami Gardens, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.